Welcome back to another Major Mole video. Today, the Major is digging into the fascinating world of colossal business blunders. Those jaw-dropping moments when industry giants made decisions that left us scratching our heads. If you're ready for a roller coaster ride through the annals of financial missteps, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, and let's dissect the top 10 worst business decisions ever made. Number 10. The AOL Time Warner Merger Let's kick things off with a bang. The colossal merger of the century between AOL and Time Warner in 2000. Picture this. AOL, once the internet behemoth, dreaming big and deciding to tie the knot with Time Warner, the titan of old media. At a staggering $350 billion, it was hailed as the largest merger in business history. However, as the ink dried and celebrations echoed, little did they know that a storm was brewing. The dot-com bubble burst, internet stocks plummeted, and the online advertising market nosedived. The result? About $100 billion in stock value wiped out, making the AOL Time Warner merger a standard business school case study for the worst merger ever. Ouch. Moving right along. Number 9. Kodak Sits on Digital Alright, buckle up for a trip down memory lane with Kodak, the once photography giant that couldn't quite capture the digital moment. Back in 1974, Kodak had the first ever digital camera in its hands. But like a hesitant photographer at a family reunion, they took a while to click the shutter. When they finally embraced digital in the late 90s, the megapixel ship had sailed. Result? Over 50,000 employees laid off, Chapter 11 bankruptcy, and Kodak saying cheese to printer cartridges and film for motion pictures. A pixel-perfect example of how not to frame your future in the digital era. As we snap out of Kodak's digital hesitation, our next tale takes us to the not-so-blockbuster decision of rejecting Netflix. Number 6. Blockbuster Rejects Netflix for $50 Million Rewind to the late 90s where Blockbuster was the reigning monarch of movie rentals. Enter Netflix, a disruptor with a revolutionary offer, a collaboration for a mere $50 million. Blockbuster, basking in the glory of VHS tapes, laughs off the proposal, considering Netflix a mere blip on the screen. Fast forward to reality, and Netflix is a streaming giant worth $194 billion, while Blockbuster's once mighty empire crumbled filing for bankruptcy in 2010 and shutting its last retail stores in 2013. The takeaway? When pride leads, even kings can end up in a plot twist of bankruptcy. With Blockbuster's tumble fresh in our minds, let's fast forward to another sip of business blunder. Number 7. Coke introduces new Coke Now, we're diving into the world of soft drinks and a recipe for disaster. Picture this, Coke, the timeless classic, decides to play with its winning formula. They roll out New Coke in 1985, thinking it's the sip of success. But within days, the public verdict is in, and it's a fizzy catastrophe. Letters flood Coca-Cola's headquarters, demanding a return to the original formula. New Coke is swiftly pulled from the shelves, leaving Coke Classic to reign supreme. The cost of this bubbly blunder? Well, Coca-Cola, now worth more than $230 billion, might say it was a small price to pay for a lesson in messing with perfection. A quick burp of history, and now we're on to the next sip of questionable decisions. Number 6. JCPenney Drops Fake Prices Now, let's talk retail therapy and a pricing strategy that didn't quite fit the fashion. JCPenney, under the new leadership of CEO Ron Johnson in 2012, decided to kick fake prices to the curb. The strategy? Embrace everyday low prices instead of the constant sales and discounts. However, loyal shoppers missed their coupon clipping days, and the internet buzzed with complaints. CEO Johnson got the boot after just 17 months, and JCPenney went back to its old pricing ways. A lesson learned? Sometimes trying to change the fashion game can leave you with a wardrobe malfunction. As we navigate through the aisles of retail decisions, buckle up for the next pit stop in our business blunder journey. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're enjoying the twists, and let's unveil the next chapter. Number 5. Western Union Hangs Up on the Telephone Now, let's rewind to a time when telegrams ruled the communication kingdom. 
Western Union, the messenger of choice, had a chance to embrace Alexander Graham Bell's telephone invention in 1876. But alas, they couldn't envision a world where people would ditch telegrams for these expensive, grainy-sounding contraptions. Fast forward to today, and Western Union is now synonymous with money transfers, while Bell's telephone empire thrived. As we disconnect from Western Union's telephone troubles, let's dial into the digital age with a decision that echoes through cyberspace. Number four, Excite passes on Google for $750,000. Picture this, it's 1999 and the internet is still in its awkward teenage years. Excite, a web portal, had the chance to scoop up Google for a mere $750,000. Yes, you heard that right, the powerhouse we now know as Google was available for less than the price of a decent house. But Excite shrugged it off, thinking Google's search technology was just a passing fad. Fast forward to today, and Google is a tech behemoth valued in the trillions. Excite, on the other hand, is a forgotten relic in the internet graveyard. The moral? Sometimes a small investment can lead to colossal gains, or you might find yourself lost in the digital wilderness. Brace yourselves, as we've now entered the prestigious top three of our business blunders countdown. No spoilers here, but get ready for decisions that could rival Hollywood blockbusters and unexpected plot twists. Let's journey back to an era where social networks were kings, and even candy choices had the potential to reshape movie history. Number 3. E.T. Could Have Been Eating M&Ms in this alternate universe of business mishaps, it's 1980 and Universal Studios invites Mars candy executives to feature M&Ms in the iconic E.T. the Extraterrestrial. However, Mars, skeptical about the film's potential, declines the offer. Cue a cosmic twist. Hershey's Reese's Pieces swoops in, stealing the spotlight and becoming the star candy of the movie. E.T. soars to success and Reese's Pieces sales triple within weeks. Hershey's enjoys a sweet victory, while Mars executives are left pondering the interstellar opportunity they let slip away. The moral of the story? Sometimes, even in the candy aisle, choosing the right star can make all the difference. As we scale the summit of business blunders, get ready for a decision that left its mark on the digital terrain. We're diving into a time when MySpace reigned supreme and the social media landscape was still finding its groove. Number 2. Rupert Murdoch Buys Nearly Kills MySpace Now, picture this. Rupert Murdoch, media mogul extraordinaire, acquires MySpace in 2005 for a whopping $580 million. But instead of propelling it to greater heights, his grand plans led to MySpace's downfall. As Facebook soared, MySpace stumbled, eventually selling for a fraction of its purchase price in 2011. Murdoch even confessed on Twitter that they screwed up in every way possible. The lesson? In the social media realm, it's not just about the buy-in, it's about orchestrating a digital symphony that keeps the audience tuned in. As we arrive at the pinnacle of business blunders, get ready for a decision that not only fumbled the ball, but also changed the game. We're about to unravel the top spot where Monday night football became a cultural phenomenon and a seemingly routine business proposition turned into a costly oversight. Number 1. NBC and CBS Get Sacked by Monday Night Football Now, let's rewind to a time when sports entertainment was a far cry from the 24-hour juggernaut it is today. Picture the 1960s, where the idea of broadcasting a football game nationally on a Monday night in prime time was met with skepticism. The National Football League approached NBC and CBS, but they were hesitant to risk losing their audiences for the Doris Day Show and Laugh-In. It was ABC Sports, led by visionary Rune Arledge, that saw the potential of turning a conventional football game into a primetime spectacle. Monday Night Football premiered in 1970 and became the longest-running series on American television, making ABC the real MVP. So remember, folks, sometimes the best decisions are the ones that break the mold and tackle the status quo head-on. As we close the chapter on business blunders, remember, even giants can stumble. From Hollywood hiccups to social media slips, adaptability is key. 
foresight matters, and the ability to pivot can turn fumbles into touchdowns. Until next time, to support the Major, like, subscribe, and remember to hit that notification bell to get notified of his latest endeavors. We love your feedback and base our content around your interests, so please leave a comment and let us know what site you want him to dig into next.